questions up to this point? Yes, Kate? Uh, yeah, so Pinker is, so the question is, is, is Pinker using Hobbes's warrant? Yes, he's using Hobbes's warrant, but the, but the basic warrant is that you, 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 you kind of have, you have the, the names first, you have the words first, and then you have the connections. And that's how, that's how you build up a language, right? Uh, as opposed to the other warrant which says, no, you have to have the connections first, and then from there you get the words, right? So, um, other issues? Okay, so what does the universal grammar of language indicate for Pinker? What does he conclude from the universal grammar of language? Yes? I mean, yeah? Uh, there's a structure of uh, grammar in the mind. Uh, yes, well, so there's a structure of grammar in the mind that's, uh, that's basically pre-programmed, that's, that's there from the beginning, right, exactly. Uh, and so it's, it doesn't come from, from outside. Um, where do word meanings come from, according to Pinker? Yes? Uh, not according to Pinker. So he's, he's saying that, uh, so, so Peirce says that the word meanings come from the connections. That you have the connections, and then th through setting up connections, you, you get the word meanings. But with, for Pinker, it's basically the word meanings come about, they come from, uh, I guess, an association to real things in the world that are, are relevant for our, our reality, essentially, right? That, um, that there's a kind of a indexical association between words and uh, thoughts, and then from thoughts to those elements of our reality. So the, the word meanings, essentially they come from reality, is really what he's saying, okay? Or, or from what's relevant to us in, our, in reality, okay? And how does Pinker's view of language relate to that of Hobbes? That's we just went over that, so um, you know, he's, he's taking over the same warrant as Hobbes in, uh, about the relationship between words and their connections, right? And then how does Pinker's view of language relate to that of Peirce? It's, I'm just going to repeat, um, Pinker uses a warrant that's different than Peirce's warrant about the relationship with words and their connections, right? Where Pinker thinks that the words come first and then you have the connections. Peirce says the connections come first and then you have the words, okay? All right. So